was a busy weekend for the ECU softball team as Courtney Oliver and company played their first home games of the years. The Pirates hosted the Pirate Clash this weekend. The first game on Friday saw ECU taking on Bryant. And in this one, we start with the first batter of the game. Mary Williams gets Tiffany Bell to strike out one of her two strikeouts in that first frame. But the Pirates first batter, Sierra Irvin, with the chopper to second base and she's putting on the wheels, beats the throw. But ECU goes on to drop, goes on to beat Bryant 9-5. And in the game at night of this day, St. Francis threw a no-hitter. They beat East Carolina 1-0 on Friday. On Saturday, Coach Oliver looking for the weekend sweep of those Bryant Bulldogs. Top of the second, Haley Haas ropes a liner over the third baseman's head. That allows Taylor Berger to come in to score. The Bulldogs grab the 1-0 lead. But the Pirates, they respond in the home half. Allie Ramirez smokes this one off the wall in left center. That's going to move Carly Smith. To third, Ramirez winds up safe at second with a double, and ECU capitalized. Irvin up again, sends this back up the middle. Smith and Ramirez come in to score. ECU picks up the 4-2 victory over Bryant. Now on Sunday, today, Lydia Ritchie getting the start on a beautiful afternoon as the Pirates taking on Cleveland State. We go bottom of the third. Meredith Burrows with two on. She turns on that and blasts it deep to right field. Nearly clears the netting out there. That put the Pirates ahead 4-0. The very next inning, Carly Smith is at the dish, and she sneaks this one down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. The double puts two runners in scoring position. A few batters later, Burrows up again and guess what she does it again hitting this one way out there in right field her second round tripper of the day the pirates cruise to victory they finished the weekend four and one